What's up, angling family? Man, we're here in October already. And yes, middle of the month, we got the Elite Mystery Tackle Box. Only one open by Butterfly Knife. Do not try this at home. Let's see what we have for this month. Hopefully some good fall time baits. I love the fall bite. I hope you guys are slaying them. I think the bite's been pretty good everywhere. I've been catching them. Well, I've only been fishing one time, but I did catch them. All right, we got some Z-Man Goat. This is actually a really good topwater bait, so you know what? It is topwater season here in Arizona. This is excellent. Well, that's a hit right off the bat. And then we have a West, and look at this, dude. It's like a, they call it the Spot On Twin Turbo, but it's a modified, you know, whopper plopper style bait. The coloring on this thing is, there we go. Look at that. It's kind of, kind of clubbish. If you like partying, I guess this is a bait for you. Then a topwater bait, though, so that's good. Matching the season that we're in. Wow, okay. This looks like a soft plastic version. It's the Weedless Bull Shad. Ha! You know, I have a couple Bull Shad, baby Bull Shads, by Mike Buka. These are excellent baits. I've never even heard of this one, but it's a soft plastic Weedless version of the baby Bull Shad. Wow, this is sick. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna be honest, dude. I kind of like keep. These mystery tackle boxes, I don't fish a lot of these baits, so only a few of them. I'm definitely going to fish this one, because that will catch some good fish. What else do we have here? We have a tiny little, tiny little spy bait. Cool. By Shin the Shinobi Shad by Genko Fishing. What a cute looking little bait. It's got some pretty hot coloring. Little spy bait. Got treble hooks on it. So a little different than some of the other spy baits I have. It's maybe like an open water thing, maybe. Oh, it has a blade on the back as well. Double bladed treble hooked spy bait. We have some prism shad, or prism shad. We have some prism brand uh, hooks. There's always some hooks in the mystery tackle box. What else do we have here? We have some, is this, yeah, Guggen. Not a huge fan of Guggen, I don't know. Big old fat 10 inch worm thing. I bet somebody loves Guggen out there and we'll fish that. <clears throat> we have a spinner bait. I love spinner baits with a bronze or gold blade and a silver blade, both willow style blades, chartreuse head. This looks like a catch co thing, but I love spinner baits. This actually looks just like a booyah bait. Like exactly. I wonder if booyah made it for him. Mustad hook. Yeah, I bet you that's just a booyah bait, which is great because I love booyah. They make the best spinner baits. And then we have the mystery soft plastic. We don't get to see what it looks like, folks. They just have a killer graphic. We have no idea. Okay. I go, should I open it and look at it? I don't want to get my fingers all juiced up, but we got to show you guys what it is. <laughs> Weird. Okay, it's an assortment of these tiny little... Oh, you know, this would be like an interesting drop shot bait. I don't know if you guys could see that, but these are weird. But there's pink ones. <laughs> and some darker ones. It's like a sample. I don't know what this is. These look like tiny little sharks, man. This is weird. I don't know if you guys could see that. Oh, man. All right. Well, actually... That's weird. I don't know what to say about that. It's a weird looking thing. I bet it'll catch him on a drop shot nose hook. And here's the sticker. That's a Mike Buka bait, dude. That is the coolest sticker so far. Wow. Love it. All right. There it is. October Mystery Tackle Box. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hit the subscribe button, like button, all that good stuff. See you on the water.